So here it is guys and girls, I've been teasing you about where that ATI 7970 graphics card was destined to go and I want to unveil to you now the system that that card is going to be installed in. So without further ado, here we go. It is the latest Alienware Aurora R3 system and I want to give you a quick tour of this system now. So stay tuned. Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my Alienware Aurora R3. I wanted to give you a sort of a sneak peek inside to show you the actual layout they've done and also give you a rundown on what I've got installed in here. So, let's start off with the hard drive bays. We've got four serial ATA bays down here and in the top one I've got my boot drive and that is one of these babies. This is the Samsung uh, 830 series solid state drive, 6 gigabits per second, 256 gigabytes of storage capacity. Now that's going to make this system absolutely fly when it comes to boot times and loading up applications. Second drive bay down here, this is for my storage. I'm going to be doing, as well as gaming on here, some extra video editing on this system as well. So I've got a two gigabyte Samsung hard drive in here. Now, at the moment, I mentioned to you about the graphics card. If I just swing this camera around a little bit for you, just at the back here, this is where the graphics card's installed. Let's just open this door for you so you can get a better look. So this is just a cheap graphics card at the moment. This is where the ATI 7970 is going in. Really nice uh, motherboard layout here. 16 gigabytes of memory. Again, a future video I'm going to show you a crucial memory upgrade in here. Uh, swapping out this sort of generic RAM for something a little bit better in my opinion. And then we've got an Antec uh, water cooler on here. This is the Cooler H20620 series, and that's keeping a Intel Core i5 uh, 2500K, if I remember rightly, processor, and that's keeping everything nice and cool. Now, that processor clocks really nicely. As soon as you put it into this system, it overclocks. Uh, Alienware have done a fantastic job at the sort of layout of this particular motherboard, and the cable management's really neat as well. Now what else I want to show you is just down here, you can see what looks like another sort of motherboard. In fact, it's a little daughter board, and this circuitry is what controls all of the um, sort of the thermals and the lighting on the case. Now, I was amazed to see that in there. Again, a great job they've done of that. So separate uh, sort of little circuit board just to control all of the lighting. So just moving back round onto the motherboard, I wanted to show you here, we've got all of the serial ATA connectors lined up. And then just above this, this is one of the really nice things of this system, is it's got some great cable management. We've got sort of a plastic section here with uh, entrance holes on this side, so wires can go in at any point, and then they can come out at any point as well, and it just keeps everything nice and tidy in the system. Now moving back round to the front area of the casing and I just want to show you just here this is where the optical bays are and you can actually remove this black cover this keeps everything nice and sort of neat inside so we can remove that nice and easily and then you can gain really easy access to extra wiring underneath we've got an extra fan here as well and we've got the three optical bays and, and this is the top one where I'm going to put that Blu-ray writer so that's it for this update video. I just wanted to give you a, a real quick overview of the layout of the Aurora R3. Please do subscribe to the Geek Noise channel. There's plenty more videos coming on this system, including a look at that customizable lighting. Also a benchmark of the R3 with that ATI 7970 graphics card installed. And another video when I've swapped out the RAM for the crucial memory, I'll be doing another benchmark video after that. So please do subscribe hit that like button. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.
Thank you.